Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Ebulon. In today's video, we are going to talk about Norland. Without any hesitation, let's dive to the video. Barbarian kingdoms. The church managed to revive hope, and peace and prosperity reigned over the ruins of the former civilization. In a land scarred by a collapse of once great empire, Norland emerged as a realm of intrigue, conflict and survival. The fall of the empire has given birth to numerous successor kingdoms, each vying for power in an era defined by chaos and ambition. Amid this turmoil, you are tasked with leading your noble family to greatness in a medieval kingdom simulator that does more than just play out historical scenarios. It generates complex, dynamic stories of valor, treachery, and the human condition. As a leader of your family, you navigate a world where lords and ladies wield influence through both noble and nefarious means. Clock and dagger tactics intertwine with sword and shield confrontations as you guide your kin through the trials of governance, war and survival. The land is plagued by famine, warfare and social unrest, while distant invader kings rally their armies threatening the very existence of your kingdom. This is Norland, a place where every decision, every alliance and every betrayal crafts the story of your dynasty. Nobles privilege. In Norland, your family stands at a pinnacle of society, wielding power that you can shape the fate of your kingdom. Each family member brings their own strength, weakness, and ambitions to the table, creating a web of complex relationships and rivalries. These nobles are not mere pawns. They are individuals with their own desires, capable of forming friendships, engaging in debauchery, or committing cold-blooded assassinations. Your nobles are the architects of your kingdom's future. They manage the peasantry, lead armies, and delve into ancient knowledge left behind by the fallen empire. Their skills in battle, governance, and diplomacy will determine your success, but so will their personal traits and cultural background. These characteristics influence how they interact with others, how they are perceived by populace, and whether they are trusted or reviled by their peers. The stakes are high, and nobles' dissatisfaction can lead to invite, resentment, and ultimately betrayal. In Norland, it's not uncommon for family members to turn on each other. Driven by ambition or manipulation by foreign powers, your task is to manage these relationships, deciding whether to quell this content with gifts and camaraderie or, the, or primitively strike against potential threats. Knowledge is another critical aspect of your nobles' privilege. They must study ancient texts to unlock new technologies and opportunities. But knowledge is fragile. If a scholar noble falls in battle, their wisdom may die with them, unless properly recorded. Will you guard this knowledge jealously or will you trade it for wealth and influence? In Norland, knowledge is as powerful as so, powered by peasants. Beneath the noble lies the backbone of your kingdom, the peasants. These common folks are vital to your kingdom's survival, yet they are also a source of potential unrest. They toll in the fields, work in the city, and fight in the battlefield. However, their loyalty is fickle easily swayed by hunger, discontent, or the whispers of rebellion. You do not control the peasants directly by inst but instead manage them through your novels. The peasants have their own needs, desires, and relationships. They are motivated by wages and the cost of goods and their treatment by the ruling class. High wages and low prices might attract more workers to your kingdom, but it could also bring with it cultural tensions and conflict. Different peasants' factions have different priorities. Some are pious, others are loyal, only as long as their bellies are. When tensions rise, the peasants may rebel, and it's your responsibility to keep them in line. A well-trained militia can crush a poorly armed riot, but not all uprisings are so easily quelled. Your greatest threat may come from within, as descent grows into rebellion and even your most trusted guards might turn against you. In Norland, a lord's reign can end at the hands of the angry mob as easily as on battle. A living world. Norland is a set in a world teeming with life, history and conflict. The collapse of the empire has left behind a patchwork of successor kingdoms. 
each with its own resources, challenges, and ambitions. As you expand your influence, you must navigate these complex political landscapes, forming alliances, negotiating trade deals, and plotting assassinations. The world around you is dynamic and ever-changing. Events and calamities will test your leadership. Whether it's dealing with plague infested refugees, surviving a natural disaster, or uncovering a plot against your family, foreign kingdoms and rival nobles will not sit idly by as you consolidate power. They will scheme, spy, and send armies to your borders. The decisions you make will shape the story of Norland, but you must also prepare to react to the unforeseen challenges that rise. A time for war. When diplomacy fails, war becomes inevitable. In Norland, war is not just a battle of armies, it's a struggle for survival. Your warriors are drowned from the very people who sustain your kingdom, and their lives are precious. Whether it's defending against invaders or marching to conquer new lands, the cost of war is high, and the consequences are permanent. Your nobles lead your armies, but each battle risks their lives and the future of your dynasty. Equipment they carry, the tactics they employ, and their morale will determine the outcome of battles. But even victory comes at a price. Every life lost on the battlefield is one less worker on your fields, one less hand to build your kingdom. Norland offers a multitude of scenarios and options, allowing you to tell your own story. Whether you become a warmonger or religious zealot, or a cunning spymaster, the choices you make will define your kingdom's legacy. Will you create a peaceful, prosperous realm, or will you leave a trail of blood and betrayal in your wake? In the end, Norland is more than just a game. It's a living, breathing world where every decision matters, every relationship counts, and every conflict has a potential to change the course of history. What tale will you tell? The choice is yours. So this is it for this episode, Norland guys. Thank you everyone, my name is Evolon. If you enjoyed this video, just give us a thumbs up. And if you love just this kind of content, click on subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more video like this. My name is Evolon, until the next video, peace.